ad scheduling or day parting on the Facebook ads platform is a little bit more difficult than most of the other platforms that we do. It actually depends on what your budget type setting is. It sounds stupid, and it is, but that's where we're at. Um, on the Facebook platform, you can set your budgets to either be daily budgets or lifetime budgets. As a quick crash course, daily budgets are where you set an amount that you want Facebook to spend daily. Um, this is one where Facebook will sometimes spend a little bit more, a little bit less, but it will constantly try and spend pretty much the entire daily budget every day that you have your campaign active. You can set a start and end date, but you don't have to to run it. This is for what most people use for their evergreen campaigns. Most of my campaigns are set up on daily budgets. The problem is you can't adjust your ad scheduling on daily budgets unless you have some part of some type of third party platform provider. If you want to use day parting ad scheduling within your Facebook campaigns in the platform, you'll have to choose lifetime budget, which means that you need to start set a start and end date and then tell Facebook how much you want to spend for the entirety of that campaign. This is perfect if you have just a short run campaign, maybe before a webinar or a sale, or you constantly just do smaller burst campaigns instead of running evergreen campaigns. But if you run evergreen campaigns, you'll basically just have to decide if you want to continuously make new lifetime budget campaigns to use the ad scheduling, or if it's not worth that kind of sacrifice and you would rather just use daily budgets to run your campaigns. So that's going to be up to you, but let's hop into the platform and I'll just show you kind of what the setup looks like and how you can actually roll out ad scheduling when you use lifetime budgets. In Facebook, when you're creating your campaigns and you get to the budget section of the ad set builder, this is where you set your budgets, basically. The default is always going to be a daily budget. For the most part, it'll pretty much always start you on run my ad set continuously starting today. That's the evergreen part that I talked about. But you can, as I mentioned, set a start and end date if you need to. Now, where you can see the ad scheduling, they've actually got hidden here in the show advanced options. So let's open that up. And down here, you'll see the ad scheduling. Since I have it set at a daily budget, it's got this grayed out. And as you saw, when I hover over this, scheduling is only available with lifetime budgets. So let's go ahead and scroll back up here and see what it looks like once you set a lifetime budget. Now you'll see that the option to not set a start and end date has gone away. So that does need to be set. You need to get that squared away. But when you scroll back down, you can start to adjust this. The text is now black instead of gray, and there's no mean message that pops up whenever I hover over this. So once you click the radio button here, it'll open up this chart that will allow you to choose different things. This is effectively just click wherever you want your ads to show. So if you want your ads to show on Monday at 6 a.m., click that. You can then click individually for each hour throughout the day. If you want, you can choose an entire day by clicking the button down at the bottom and it'll highlight the entire row. If you don't want to sit here and click each individual cell, which can be a real pain, a little bit of a trick is that if you want to select multiple things, click one cell that you want to start with, hold the mouse button down, and then drag it over until the point where you want to stop running ads and then release. So I'm going to click at 9 a.m. and then I want to run everything through Friday at 9 p.m. So I'm gonna click, drag all the way over, and release. And now all that has stayed blue because that's what I told it to do. So that's something that can save you a little bit of time if you don't want it to be every day. When you wanna get rid of something that you've selected, just click it again and it'll go away and then you don't have it there. But whatever you end up choosing with blue is what your ad scheduling is gonna be going forward. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 